So in the last video, I checked out the randomizer mod made for Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door made by Zephils, and it was super interesting. All the loading zones are just completely random, all the items are random, and even the coins are randomized into any items. And basically my goal was to collect all of the crystal stars and just kind of explore and see what weird things could happen. And after doing that, I thought that it was a really good mix of RNG and skill and planning, and so I thought I would put it into a speedrun. And so what you're going to see in this video is me speedrunning the randomizer to get seven crystal stars as fast as possible, completely disregarding everything else, and I think it turned out really interesting, so I'll go ahead and shut up and we'll get into the video. So it's literally just going to be get seven crystal stars as fast as I can. I have splits right here, so maybe I'll do a couple attempts at it or something and we can compare each time, but literally just going for all seven of them. It's that simple, so let's do it. The timer will start on file select, I guess. Let's see. So randomize coins on loading zone randomizer on one hour challenge off. So the settings we want, I think this was my randomizer file from last time. I'll just go ahead and delete that. And then once I hit okay on this, that's when my timer will start. So to go with last time, I guess I'll do, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking here. So all right, timer starts. Let's do this. So I'm just gonna try to blast through it as fast as possible, just get stars. So I can like check like that item right there. I don't hear any items though, so it's kind of not worth checking because you can hear the sparkles of the stars. 382 already. Yeah, no, we're gonna <laughs> abandon that. Sure. Heart finder. I probably should, yeah, I should be getting some items though. I think that's a good strategy because I do need to be able to beat enemies. This This is good, item boxes are good. A hot dog, power jump, maple super, and then all of these enemies are far too strong for me right now. Yeah, I don't really have any strategy here, I guess, other than to just fight random enemies. Wow, that was a good jump right there. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Yeah, my strategy is just to fight random enemies, but I just need weak enemies to fight. Imagine it takes me longer than it took me to do this, like, casually last time. I got a hot sauce. Oh, there's no x knot here? Oh, I think it's because of the sequence I'm at. Usually there's an x knot there in that room, but the x knots don't spawn in the tree later in the game. That actually sucks. I could have taken on one of those quite easily. Oh, hey, what's good? All right, let's try to make this happen. Ready? Oh, he has a life shroom. That's actually really fucking obnoxious. Does this increase Yoshi's attack? Yeah. Okay, that's actually fine right there. And then this guy needs to spawn it up. Okay, so I'm going to put Mario in front. I'm going to eat the hot dog for FP. And then I'll just have to gulp the bullet bill and hit the front guy, I guess. That's not really what I want to do, but I think that's what I have to do. Okay, low-key, I think Miss Mouse is my strat from here on out, maybe? Actually, no, another gulp would finish them, I think. No, it wouldn't even. I wish I had anything useful. All right, ready? Good. Shit. Spawn him up. Spawn him up. Okay, okay. Oh, I wish I had Yoshi out still now. Because Yoshi could have gulped him here. Okay, let's heal. And I think I'll bring Yoshi back out next turn. I shouldn't have put him away. That was a mistake. I'll get hella coins if I can win this fight. But I don't know if I can. Okay, they spawned them up. I'm just going to have to simply survive. That is my plan. So the front guy, I think, dies? Yeah, and now... Fuck. I missed the timing on every single bullet bill. Uh, okay, well, this is not a very good run already. I've made zero progress in five minutes. Oh, and the penalty of seven seconds is so rude. So rude, don't do that to me. All right, I'm not gonna reset though because this is my first actual speed run and it's kind of lame to reset your first run. I definitely could have won that last fight if I wasn't awful at the game and missed all my super guards, but in my defense, I just had like winter break and I was out of town for like two weeks and took like a little break from YouTube. Therefore, I took a break from playing this game and I'm not as good at it now. Just a little rusty, but the rust will shake off very quickly. You'll see. I hear sparkles. It's not here though. No, I don't think I can- Wait, no, I have Bobbery. Okay, okay, I think I'm gonna get my first star here. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh, and Power Lift is really good too. Alright, that's first star. So I'll grab some other freebies in here. Because the more equipment I get, the faster I can win battles, so it's kind of worth it if I can grab it relatively quickly. Oh wait, there's actually enemies that I can beat here. This is wonderful. 
Because fighting enemies is like my best chance at getting drops. Okay, Barbary's actually kind of the homie to have out for this. He does he does a lot of damage for being an unranked partner. Okay, if I can get star number two from this, that would be amazing. Didn't think so, but at least I got some gear. Fight another guy. All right, give me a star, give me a star, give me a star. No star. All right, are they gonna hit the super guard? Look at that, I still know how to play the video game. There we go. All right, some easy ones to ease me back into it. Hello. I guess the items would be randomized in an item randomizer, because normally those cannot throw peekaboo. There's only one copy of peekaboo in the game. So now I have two of them, and they do not do anything when stacked, but it's kind of cool to say, I guess. Oh. Star number two. Very good. Okay, star number two is a lot faster than star number one. But I assume the stars just get more rare as you go along, because... There's less of them in the pool, because you can't get any duplicates. Um, Yeah, I'll take a hot dog. <laughs> oh, it's a free shroom. Ultra shroom. Zest Deluxe. Star number three. That one I got in 30 seconds. I got star number three in 30 seconds. All right, I maybe we'll never beat this run ever again. All right, just keep randomizing rooms till I find something interesting. There's no point in doing this. What am I doing? I was trying to see if that was the uh, transparent wall one, but it doesn't matter. Don't care about this room. Don't care about the moon. I think this is the same room I was just in. Okay, easy enemies. We'll fight the easy ones. Yeah, this is entirely a luck-based speedrun. Like, you could get under 10 minutes on this if you're just really lucky, but I think that would be, like, absurd to get. Yeah, I think uh, early game enemies don't drop as many coins as late game enemies, but... With how easy these are to kill compared to those, it's just kind of worth. And now I'm unlocking more um, star power moves to use. Actually, I think I have Showstopper now. One of my three stars was uh, the Garnet Star. So I might be able to use Showstopper, which means I can just kill kind of anything because Showstopper is ridiculously overpowered in the vanilla game. I'm <laughs> coming out of the fake pipe again. All right, got to see what the horsetail plant gives. Imagine a crystal star pops out. Spike shield. All right. You know, I gotta say this would be... Oh, that guy's an HP plus. God damn it. He has so much health. Uh, I was gonna say this would be a fun thing to race with somebody. Like, it's, just, it's like totally random. It's barely skill based. But I think that it's like short enough and maybe interesting enough that it could be fun still despite the pure randomness. So now maybe I'll like try to talk my partner into racing this with me or something. <laughs> They've never played all the way through regular Thousand Year Door, but... I don't know, maybe I'll make them play it, and then we can race it or something, that'd be fun. Put Coops out into the world, Power Shell. So I'm just trying to speedrun all these encounters as best I can, really with no consideration to resources that I'm using. I mean, because it, it doesn't matter, I get so many items. Wait, are there Bill Blasters in this room? Because Bill Blasters drop hella coins, I want to kill these. I almost killed the Bombshell Bills, so these should be no problem. Um, oh wait, this is genius, I'm just gonna level up. Because I have this now, this does... I don't even remember how much this does in the base game. I know it's buffed in Infinite Pit. Does like 15 or something? 15. Okay, I was exactly right. So now I will level up. These will drop hella coins. And watch, I'll just get like the next four stars from just these guys. So it'll be easy. Uh, always badge power. There's no reason to ever upgrade anything besides badge power in this game. Oh, see, look at that. I got a star. Uh, I just need to get to it. Diamond star. Okay, let's fight these blasters also. Do I have an item that damages them? No, I don't. But I do have Earth Tremor now, so I don't have to use Showstopper. That was actually so clutch. Okay, my first and fourth star right now are tied for being the slowest. I don't think I'm ever going to get a faster star than I got for star three. That was literally 30 seconds. I can just mash through this. They only have five health. Save the time. It's a speed run. Uh, so many items. Okay. No star on that, but it was worth rolling. Flurry's home. A uh, game error. Well, oh, just ignore that error because the game is still running just fine. All right, same routine right here. Bill Blasters are a really good enemy to roll for drops. Yeah, I don't remember how long I played the randomizer last time. I think it was at least three hours to get all the stuff, but I was also kind of exploring around trying to, you know, have a good time and figure out what it was all about. This time, my eyes are on the prize. It's a new year, it's a new me, it's 2024. You know, what was the first thing that you guys did for your 2024 this year? Because last night at about 12.30,
uh, I was flying this, like, drone, uh, totally legally, don't worry about it, uh, I'm sure the laws in my area line up just fine, and it, it's just this cheap, like, drone that my dad got as, like, a freebie online, and he only had to pay shipping for it, and he's just like, hey, you can have this drone, I don't, I'm not gonna use it, and I was like, yeah, sure, I'll take a drone, because drones are fun, you know, they can fly, and that's, like, their primary trait and everything, and we were flying it off our apartment balcony, which, once again, we're totally allowed to do, <laughs> at one point, it just started steering towards a neighbor's balcony, and I was like, okay, nope, come back. I'm gonna, f I was gonna fly it back to home. <laughs> and then the controller lost connection with the cheap ass drone and it just kept barreling towards their balcony. <laughs> and then it just crashed into their blinds on their window at like 1230 in the morning and just landed on their balcony. I could still see it. The little lights on it were still lit up on their balcony. It was okay. And I was like, well, sh what do we do? So I like got down like and looked at it from the best angle I could and was like, okay, I'm just going to very carefully fly it off of here. I figured out the direction I needed to fly it so that I didn't hit the window again. And then I took off and then it just hit the blinds immediately again because it was right below it. And then it flipped upside down and now no longer functions. So that's where we're at. It's still sitting on their balcony as of right now. We left a, a note outside their door saying, hey, if you return this to us, we'll give you like a beer or something. And that's about where that stands. So anyways, that's how my year is going so far. Now that I have super boots that I got during that conversation, it's just easy now to do this much damage. I hope this encounter gives me another star so that this isn't my new slowest split. But like I said, I figured it was gonna get slower as things went on. Oh, I see a power bounce in there. Power bounce, my beloved. Power bounce is important to have on to be able to deal with large threats. What, I'm at the Dupless sequence? What the hell? I was Shadow Mario and I had Yoshi. Okay, we're just gonna ignore that. Honestly, I would have been curious to see if I could fight Dupless there, but I have a speed run that I'm doing. Okay, also this man is just chilling here. I am in a state of the game where he is allowed to exist. Wait, I'm still Shadow Mario in battle? I'm like stuck in that game state. Wait, Showstopper costs four? Does the randomizer also nerf it? I thought I was gonna be stopping they show. Dude, get owned. So we'll just do that. And now I will tremor they earth. It'd be kind of sick if I was Shadow Mario for the rest of this run. Also, this is officially my slowest split. But the stars just get more rare as you play on. And once again, I'll early cancel, save the time, because I don't need extra damage. Don't care about the regular items, I already have hella good healing items. Can the item shop sell crystal stars? I don't think so. Like, these are all random, but I don't think that they can even sell me a crystal star. Kind of messed up if these guys were selling the thing that Mario needed to save the world, so... From a lore perspective, I'm kind of glad they didn't implement that. Alright, I could showstopper, but for two more star power, I could just use a supernova, which is a guaranteed kill. More GameCube ASMR, shoutouts to last video. Oh, that was clean. Oh, it's all the rest and recovery I got over winter break. Oh, yeah, nice. That was a pretty good one. <laughs> 60 star points is ridiculous. Okay, drop a whole big pile of stuff. No star. Wait, I hear sparkles. I hear sparkles. It's up here, right? Yeah. All right, that's star five, so we only need two more. I'm so glad that you can hear the sparkles when it's sitting in the overworld. That is such a good feature. So I'll just blast through these and then... Hopefully find some stronger enemies, because I think I can take on just about anyone now. Besides bosses. I don't want to fight a boss, actually, for the sake of the speedrun. That's really not something I'm, that I'm into, because they don't give me anything. Oh, it's just one man. Knock him out with an optimal power jump. You don't see me doing that a lot, where I just use power bounce and do the perfect amount of jumps, because usually I'm trying to thirst after as many jumps as I can to flex or whatever. So it feels weird, but kind of good to do it efficiently for once. Yo, what's up, homies? So I am, yeah, I am past this state in this chapter, so these guys would be here because I'm still set to the dupless fighting sequence, like the end of chapter four. Okay, I think actually I should fight these guys because they're really weak to showstopper and I should have used supernova because it's a guaranteed kill. But um, these guys drop a lot of coins, so I should get hella items from them. Yeah, these guys are so weak to showstopper. It's no question. So now I can stop they show again. God damn it, doing it I was doing it with my left hand because I was drinking water. This game's still so easy. That got two of them. 
That's embarrassing for them. Yeah, my coordination was totally messed up trying to use only my left hand to press the face buttons. Give me another star. Give me another star. Nope. I don't really need anything in that stack. Going through all these items just takes too much time. Damn. I love- I wish it was on the claw machine like it was in the last video. That was my favorite thing in this game ever. God damn it, I met this sequence for arriving here the first time. Uh, I have to watch the cutscene. That's a time loss. Does this even update my sequence to chapter 6 though? Because 210 I'm pretty sure is still the sequence for the Duplass fight. Okay, yeah, it did update me. I can use panels now. That's right, they forgot to add the panel when the train is going back towards Rogueport though. Shoutouts to the Thousand Year Door developers for only putting it in one version of the train. Ultra Boots is actually kind of clutch. Super Boots again, just pumping me in there. I'm literally just in the chapter six state now. Oh no, they got the star. Does that count as star number six for me? I don't think it does. It didn't go into my inventory, it went into theirs. Oh, oh wait, I wanted to try this last time. This is worth checking. Oh, I think this is the room that has the spinning fire bars. I want to see if jumping over those and the coins that spawns are randomized. Also, I do want to kill this guy actually because he's going to get in my way here if I don't. I meant to spin jump so it'd kill him, but I think this still kills him anyway. Oh, it's just one guy. It doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, it kills him. So he's probably going to drop hella coins, but I really want to see if the fire bars drop it. It's worth sacrificing the time in the run. Oh, that's useful. Is this going to get rid of it? I don't know if it works on this one or not. Oh, oh, it does. It creates items. Okay, okay, that's actually awesome. No, it's definitely getting faster. Oh, yes, that was such a good strategy. Okay, let's get the rest of these. That's star number six. Home stretch, baby. This is actually so worthwhile for the coins that spawns. That's hilarious that it works. Nope, that little star spawning right there, the art attack hitbox is like debug thing. That that jump scared me, I thought that was it. Okay, I think it has to be this fire bar for a sub 40. Oh, shame. That's a shame. Okay, I'm gonna save after that though, that was still very good. Eat the food, Mario. Just get three more health. <laughs> that was pretty overkill to use for three health, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. He dropped so many things. So many badges. Okay, realistically, I could be searching for the next hour for this last star, but I'm, I'm just hoping to get sub hour. This actually is like a really interesting speed run to play because yes, it's luck based, but you do have to play each encounter pretty optimally and like chain together items and special moves and stuff. It is kind of fun. I do recommend it. If you guys do decide to go for this, let me know what kind of times you can get in the comments because honestly, it's really fun. And setting up the randomizer is not too hard. I'll go ahead and link... Uh, Zephyl's video in the description so that you can download it if you want. Uh, no drop. I'm not gonna kill butt enemies anymore. They just don't drop enough coins to be worth the time. Yo, Flavio showed up. That's my favorite part of this randomizer is when you get a random companion. All right, can we close this out with Flavio? Sub 50 is still kind of the goal, but sub hour is the overall goal. Oh, it's the fire room again. Okay, we can farm some freebies here. Okay, right, so another level up is good for a heal. I'm really hoping I just get it from this room this time, because all the fire respawns and everything. Their speeds are almost synced. I have to jump over them at once. The items despawn so quick, but none of them are really useful. Come on, give me the star. Give me the star. Once again, sub 50 comes down to this room. I think sub 40 came down to it last time, and it didn't, didn't budge. Nope. God, how is it coming down to the, the wire again for a big 10 minute milestone? Please just drop from this thing. Just drop from it, be a hero. Be a hero. Damn, you piece of shit. Money, money though. Money, money was the strat last time. We're gonna put that on. So now all enemies drop more stuff. So this should let me close this out. Sequence 399. Oh God, that's Grotus. Nope, nope, not fighting Grotus. Thunder Rage into Gulp is pretty fast. With money, money, these should drop a lot of stuff. Am I gonna get my final star on the moon? That would be beautiful. I got the map. Oh, I wasn't counting the map for the seven crystal stars, but I guess it's interesting to have. I maybe should have included the map in this run, but I don't know. It seemed more poetic for it to just be the seven crystal stars. Zest dynamite. Kill them all dead for a nice 44 star points. Come on, this has got to drop a billion coins. No crystal star in there. It did drop a million things, but I'm just going to ignore all of it in the interest of being quick. Okay, let's see how worth it a butt enemy is. Let's see how much he drops with money money on. What you got with money money as a factor? 
pretty good. I did see it, he dropped a quick change there. Also, I'm gonna put first attack on now that these weak enemies are in my range. Wait, I still can't kill this guy with first attack? I thought that was genius, Loki. Cause I think they still drop coins when you first attack him, but maybe not. I thought they dropped a little bit. So it makes them like really quick to try. Oh, uh, actually I kind of want to be in here. This is okay. These enemies drop a ton of things, whatever they're called. Coins, <laughs> that's what they're called. I'm trying to multitask and play this game. My brain's fried already. Get me out of here. I just wanted to go kill stuff. I want the sub power. Leave, leave me alone. He does drop so much stuff. This is the place to be, but I just need to get lucky. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I didn't know they could do that. That was crazy that they just flooded items into my, like, into my face. They just chucked, like, 15 different things at me, and I only got one of them. Because I guess you only actually get hit by one item when they throw the rocks, so... I know the last one is more rare because, you know, there's one-seventh of them in the pool that there were at the start, but still... I've been rolling a lot of items right now. Come on, come on. I just want the last star. I don't want it to have taken 30 minutes to get the last star. God, they're dropping so many items and just none of them are what I need. Yeah, the speedrun is like kind of mostly luck based, but I don't know. It's it's a little bit of fun. It's not it's not the type of thing that you would grind for, you know, months or whatever and improve slowly but surely. But it's kind of just a fun little gamble that you can take and see what kind of time you can get. And it would be very entertaining for a race because I think that randomness does make races entertaining. Because there's those elements of skill. I don't know why I said elements like that. There's those elements of skill that can make things faster and more optimal, but it also comes down to luck. So it kind of makes makes it entertaining to play alongside someone for sure. God, sub 110 is so bad. It's been 30 minutes since my last split. All right, drop the good stuff. Come on, drop the good stuff. That's not the good stuff. Okay, it does give me the boat power to get out even though I don't actually have it unlocked. So at least that's good. This has definitely <laughs> been like patched and worked on. I don't think the guy that does it makes mods anymore. But um, like the, there's definitely some soft locks that were discovered in early testing that got ironed out. God damn it, my movement was so swanky for a moment. I was locked in. I don't know if you could see me or not or if you were paying attention, but I was actually locked into that. I feel like I should look into a badge setup that lets me just kill those with like a quake hammer or whatever, but I don't really want to change what I got going on too much. It takes so long to get through all of these button timings. Just give it, just give it, just give it. Wait. Oh, that's a, a star piece dropped? I heard the like metal clinking sound. I didn't even know these could drop star pieces. Okay, hold on. Let's adjust the spread. Take off some jump mans. Put another power plus PFD down. Do I have a quake hammer anywhere? I could have sworn I had a quake hammer. Do I really not have a single quake hammer? Okay, that doesn't really help me then. I don't have a multi bounce either. God, how did I make it this far with this level of poverty? It's okay. It's okay to take some time because I'm doing research for next run. So now can I kill this guy? Okay, I can. That's actually still pretty useful. Okay, doing some research. So if I had a Quake Hammer or a multi bounce, that'd be a huge advantage here. Especially Quake Hammer. That could just obliterate the Moon Clefs. Because Moon Clefs are a really good thing to grind for coins and even XP. But I just can't kill them that fast. They're still one of my better options, other than like some Palace of Shadow enemies. Oh god, no, 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 it put me in the sequence. Okay, I think I just want to game over, because I think resetting is kind of cheating. But I am in the very end game sequence. As soon as I saw that number tick up from 399 to 400, I was like, oh, goddammit. Okay, hold on, hold on. I can, I can do this quick. Ready? Okay, become her servant. And then game over. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> All right, that saves some time. So I'll just let the timer tick down. Yeah, I think technically resetting would maybe be fair, but I think it's just less cheap to do it this way. Did not mean to jump on this guy. Although, wait, can I just farm infinite coins from these? With too many monies, how much? How many coins will these drop? Because I actually might be able to just farm this until I get the last star. That might even be a good strategy. Let's see how much they drop. 
one thing. Okay, never mind. We're not gonna do that. Here we are again at this juncture. We have found ourselves here many a time, and I am going to try it again. I think it is one of the fastest ways to roll a bunch of items. Dude, I was hoping for sub, like, 40 forever ago. And now at this rate, I might not get sub 140. This is awful. This is taking so long for this last one. All right, time to bust out the moves on him. Oh, that was good, but didn't get anything useful from it. I have now crossed officially one hour since I got the last star. I got I got my sixth star a whole hour ago, and that was at 38 minutes in. This is so unlucky. Like, I don't even think this has anything to do with my plan of attack. I think this is just bad luck. What? Did none of those things drop anything? Was I already at, like, an item limit? Th those two encounters didn't drop anything. There must have been an item limit on the map. That's such a scam. Okay, well, next time I need to make sure I wait for things to despawn. How have I not encountered that yet? I think something I should have been doing as it went along also was not um, grabbing things from the overworld at all. Because, like, any of those one-time grab things like star pieces could be crystal stars and are now just not. I will say that and then grab this jump man, though. You know how I roll. What? She gets burnt by that? I thought she could do that. Never mind, then. Sorry, I tried. I, cause, can't she steal from bristles, though? That makes no sense. The bristle would stab her. The bristle stabs Mario when he's trying to hammer. If I don't get sub two hour on this, I, I'm resetting it two hours. I don't f***ing care. I don't even, like, need to finish this to prove a point. I should have just reset by now, but I don't want to reset my first attempt. I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna serve this witch, and she's going to kill me, and everything will be wonderful. I mean, look at her. That's kind of a baddie. How could you not serve her? It's hilarious that that's even an option to do in this game. After going the whole way on this whole adventure, you unlock all the crystal stars, you save them, you finally find Peach, and you're like, you know what? I'm a fold. You know, that's cool now. I, I've, I've come far enough. I did good. It's all in a day's work. I'm a fold. I can't believe I'm getting to a point on this save file where it's worth it to upgrade HP. Because that's what I'm about to do, and that's what it's come to. So, so stupid. Oh! Oh! Oh, time, an hour, 49 minutes and 12 seconds. Oh my God. So that means I spent about an hour and 11 minutes on this last star. Holy sh**. And I thought the 12 minutes between star five and six was bad. Okay, so that is a time on the board. I now am the world record holder because I'm the only person to have ever speedrun us. That's my favorite thing to say. Like whenever I finish any category that I've made up for speedrunning anything, I can automatically say I have the world record and that is my favorite thing ever. Cause I would like to try to improve that. I think I can definitely improve that. I've learned some strategies, especially for the later game. So hour 49, 12 is the time to beat. All right, and now I will create my new save file. Instead of Pemus, it will be Pemus, all caps. Oh my God, this is the God Seed. I hear a star off the bat. Where is it? Where is it? There's a star in this area somewhere. I'm not gonna pick that up. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna employ the strategy I talked about last time of not picking up things that load in areas that I don't need. I bet it's on top of Zesty's house. Yes. All right, well, we are five minutes and 40 seconds ahead. Goaded. It actually spawned in the first room. All right, doing these early encounters is fine. It's good to roll for early stars. I really don't need to play it like it's early game, but I don't know. Sometimes it's useful to just roll items also. Oh, but that didn't give me shit. I still stand by rolling these early items because it gives me equipment to fight stronger enemies for more coins. Like, look at that. If I didn't fight that guy, I wouldn't have a tornado jump right now. And God knows how much I want a tornado jump. Oh, God, is this Rock Hawk? I don't even get anything from winning against Rock Hawk. Yeah, I'm already slower on this second split than the last one, but I saved over five minutes on my first star, so it kind of evens out. Oh, this is slow, though. I really wanted to stay ahead for a while. Yeah, dude, shut the f*** up. Stop cheering for me. I don't care about your support. And I'm talking to, to you guys right there. No, I care about your guys' support very much. I appreciate you. But these f***ers in the game, don't like them. Do it. Do me in. Okay, that was super boots, but I'm just gonna reset anyway, so. Alright, let's reset. I did not get 
I, I was not able to keep up with my first run ultimately, even though that first split was very good. <sighs> Got rolled. Happens. It happens to me for the last hour and 10 minutes of the last run. Ooh. Okay, so I do not hear a star immediately this time. That does suck. Oh, this is kind of a rough spot to spawn, but I bet I can kill this guy early and get an advantage. I actually really, really need the first strike on him, I think. Hold on. Nope, that's a reset. To be fair, that was also just bad luck because obviously somebody should get away from that, you know, if we're being reasonable about it. <laughs> I'm getting the arriving at Creepy Steeple for the first time cutscene, except I'm way over here for some reason. Okay, this might pay off because I might get really strong stuff here, so I might be kind of front loaded on my time. But if I get some really strong items from this, That'll give me a lot of progress very quickly. 64 star points. That's a reference right there to a Nintendo home console. So I got Magic Map. Oops, I thought I had Yoshi out. Getting debug badge is also kind of funny. Okay, well, I'm already behind my third star from last time, and I don't even have one star. And really, the drops I've gotten are not even that good. I'm, I don't know. I'm feeling like maybe this one should be a reset also. Because I have a couple levels under my belt, but who cares about that? I just need, like, badges that increase Mario's attack mainly. So I can grind enemies hella later. And I haven't gotten that. I've just gotten multiple copies of, like, Bump Attack. I'll try killing one more, and if he doesn't drop anything important, it's another reset. Okay, it has to drop from this guy, or I reset. I have to get at least my first star from this guy, or I reset. Oh, I did drop an attack increase, but no. It's just not good. I've wasted functionally the first, like, like that's 10 or so minutes of just not good progress. <laughs> All right, let's start to Pemus again. <laughs> yes, 15 seconds. What a good ass game. Cog for the flex. Okay, well, that's a little bit better this time, huh? And you know what? We're gonna kill these guys because I have Supernova now. Okay, this is a way better start. Getting the Supernova star first is amazing. Because I just now have this ability. This is actually goaded. Boom. Silent in the auditorium, but... <laughs> that is 72 star points. I will take everything that I can get here. Okay, and now I'm gonna go... I guess I'll fight this one. Low-key risky, but that's all right. Because I can kill the front one with HP Drain and Yoshi. And then the back one, I just need to super guard once, and then he won't live a turn. Or I think I need to super guard him again. Wait, does this just kill him? This might just kill him. This might just be a genius combo. No, it doesn't. It's fine, though. This is so much better. I'm so glad I reset. I already have a star and I'm like getting level ups faster and getting items. Just give me some attack increases so I can grind battles easier. Okay, well, they can't all be winners. None of that stuff is useful at all. So in like less than four minutes, I'll have killed three Swampire battles and gained a level and gotten a crystal star. Much stronger start. Yeah, so even though there is obviously a ton of luck that goes into this, there's still very much a strategy in terms of like building yourself as efficiently as possible to beat battles faster a power plus p is pretty good please at least give me the star for all this effort at least give me a star i just want to be ahead of my star two on the previous i know i'm gonna fall behind on star three obviously because it was like super fast but okay nice pick it up Okay, so at least I'm not like fully behind. Okay, there's a lot of items going on here. I wanted that Quake Hammer pretty bad. Okay, Quake Hammer is really useful. <laughs> the door may not be opened while the train is in motion. Ah, I see, I understand. Okay, I'm gonna not grab anything in that room because it's a good room for crystal stars to spawn. Hello, we will be doing this. Also, I just realized that the text is kind of hard to read on, when it's green on my live split because it's still set to like chroma key it. So that's why my timer was brown on the last run also. That actually makes sense. I was kind of wondering about that, but just like didn't think about it. So yeah, that text is supposed to be green, but it is green screened out from a different layout. Okay, Supernova makes these guys pretty easy. And they should drop hella stuff. I hope I get my third star from them so I can catch back up. No, but a jump man's good. 64 star points again. Oh, there's a star. Okay, that's very good. Oh, 
A multi bounce. That's so big. A zest dynamite's useful, so I need to be using attack items more. Getting a money money would also be huge. Oh, that's also even huger. That is the main objective. Okay, so if I can catch up with star five, that would be fantastic, because then I'm in a way better shape. Oh, ultra boots is so good. Yes. Thank you. Getting supernova early is such a big crutch. It's like kind of a long animation, but it wipes the screen. It wipes the screen for every normal enemy. That's like not a boss. Okay, Zest Dynamite, I'll take. Fire Flower, don't care. Ultra Shroom, don't care. Is this all items? I think that's all items. That one badge in there, whatever it is, isn't useful. Oh, I hear a star. Where's it at? Is it in the storeroom? That's where all that. Oh, there's a money money. Maybe I can sell enough to get that. Maple Ultra, that's fine. Jelly Candy, easy. All right, awesome, nice. Okay, hold on, that star can wait. I know it's gonna slow my split down, but I don't care. Splits don't actually matter. Um, I, I guess I'll take that off and put one on now. Uh, I don't think my items are worth enough. Even collectively, was this stuff in here expensive enough? Can't sell that here. This lady does not accept badges. Okay, we'll roll with one money money. Where's the star? Right there. Okay, nice. So that's five stars. We're basically caught up. Still slightly behind technically. Oh, sh okay, fine. All right, let's do it. Um... Do I have any more attack increases? I mean, odds are I should get at least one star in this room. It's not that, the odds probably aren't that bad that I get both of them in this room, honestly. Like both the last two, which would be pretty awesome. Don't tell me I'm gonna kill every Dark Boo in this room and not get a single crystal star from them. There's no way. I think I just discovered that there is in fact a way. Oh, yes. That's star number six. Okay, we're in the end game now. Star number seven is all that remains. I am technically nine minutes behind my last one, but so much of the grinding that I would need to do is already done. God, I'm so anxious. It could just happen at any moment and then I can be free with a much better time. So let's see what I can do for a moon grind loadout. Um, don't need ice power. Don't want jump man. So I want that and then quake hammer is like near the bottom. Okay, and now I should be able to just kill these pretty quickly. Not if I f up the action command though, god damn it. Okay, well, that is really, really stupid. I missed the easiest action command in the world to get. It's just like the hammer one, but slightly slower. That's all it is. Okay, just drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Like it's hot? No. Wait, my math's wrong? I do seven now? Okay, well, apparently I'm doing seven, so I'm gonna take off hammer man and put multi-bounce back on so then I don't even need to worry about this loadout at all. And I can just not have to swap to fight these guys. Unfortunately, with how long it took me last time, these types of optimizations probably will make a difference. Any one of these battles could be the final one for this speedrun. And I'm very much looking forward to it. If I could sub hour on the second attempt, that would be gorgeous, but I'd have to be pretty lucky for that to happen. Sure, I'll kill this guy again. I'm gonna level up from it once again, so it's fine. Wait. <laughs> this just kills me because I have two PFD downs on. Oh my god, I thought I was chilling and then the four popped up. God damn it. Four, three, two, one, zero, two. Ah. Oh, I should have killed all of them, actually. Never mind. I don't know why I add. Wait. <gasps> yes! It was just sitting on the floor after all the prep I did. It was just sitting on the floor. God f***ing damn it. Oh my god. That means all the prep work was useless. I think this is not the best way to go about it. Now that I'm here, I think it's better to just reload areas until you find it probably. Like, and not worry about grinding for late games. Uh, I don't know though. There's not that many areas where you can find it. Ah, uh, Overworld's so strong. I can't believe I found it in this room out of all places. Okay. An hour and eight minutes is so much better than an hour 49. That was quite the improvement. My sum of best segments here. Let me adjust my layout so you can see it because I do have it down here. My sum of best segments is 4758. So that's the best that I did out of, uh, I think, basically just the two runs. There were some attempts in between, but those didn't really do anything or pertain to my sum of best. So yeah, this is obviously sub -hourable, like very, very possible. But after playing this game for several hours, I think that's good for now. Um, if you guys go ahead and attempt this, be sure to let me know what times you guys got 
and see if you can beat me maybe. And other than that, I'll just hit you with the usual request for a subscribe because it really helps and also a like because that also really helps. Those things are really good at telling YouTube that my videos are worth watching and then they'll show it to other people. And then if you're interested in talking more about Thousand Year Door or my other content or really anything else, be sure to join the Discord which is also linked down below and come hang out with the Bringle community. So with that, have a good one guys.